Hi Year 5, Miss Williams here, going to read you a story today. I have chosen Michael Morpurgo, Cool as a Cucumber. It's one of his shorter books uh, for some younger children, however I think it's brilliant and I love a Michael Morpurgo, things like War Horse and Private Peaceful and things like that. Anyway, Cool as a Cucumber. Get to the right page. Chapter 1. My name's Peter. Last summer, I was a hero. Not for long, just long enough to grow a giant cucumber. A cucumber fit for a queen. The whole thing began one morning when Mrs. Mappleton came into class, all bright-eyed and bubbly with excitement. I had the most brilliant idea last night, children, she said. In the bath, she's always having brilliant ideas in her bath. I've been racking my brain for weeks to find something we could all do to celebrate the Queen's Jubilee. Guess what? We're going to dig our very own school vegetable garden. We'll call it the Queen's Jubilee Garden. We're going to grow our own vegetables, children. Carrots, potatoes, onions, parsley. What's parsley, miss? Asked Mandy Sharp, who loves asking questions. Mrs. Mappleton ignored her. And cucumbers, she went on. We're going to grow cucumbers too. Maybe we'll send one to the Queen so that she can make lots of cucumber sandwiches. Well, what do you think of that, children? To be honest, none of us was that keen at first. I think it was the word dig that worried us. But Mrs. Mappleton had enough enthusiasm for all of us and very soon we were all really looking forward to it. So there we were that same afternoon, digging over the patch of wasteland between the playing fields and the hedge, Mrs. Mappleton urging us on. The sooner we get this done, she told us, the sooner we can get the horse manure dug in. Horse manure's by far the best for vegetables, children. Then we can get our seeds planted out, and before you know it, lickety-split, we'll have our first vegetables. The first cucumber goes to the hardest worker. Now, I like cucumbers, so I dug a little harder. I soon discovered that digging was a lot more fun than I'd ever imagined it could be, because I began finding all sorts of really interesting things. The longest, fattest, wriggliest worm I had ever seen. A tomato sauce bottle. A giant beetle with evil, nasty looking pincers. Bits and pieces of blue and white china. And even a shoe. Well, a sort of sandal with one strap and a rusty buckle. Every time I found something, I'd run over to, to show it to Mrs Mappleton but I soon discovered that she wasn't nearly as interested in my treasures as I thought she'd be. I asked her if my sandal might be a Roman one, if my blue and white china was from Tudor times. We'd just been doing the Tudors. Who knows, Peter? Maybe you could make up one of your lovely stories about it. You're such a dreamer, she laughed. But now is the time for... But now is not the time for dreaming. Now is the time for digging. We're trying to grow a cucumber for the Queen, remember? Back to your digging now. There's a good boy.